is a demonstration of Touchable. <clears throat> it's a iPad app that allows you to basically uh, stop this. Basically, allows you to take Ableton Live and completely control it. As you can see, um, I'm using this one thing right now called the XY Pad controller. It um, comes with the interface. This is pretty much the entire enchilada. Um, there's a lot to it. It took a lot to get used to, but still a really good program. Anyway, back, sorry, ADD moment. <laughs> back to the XY pad. As you can see, I'm moving them around, and basically what I've done with that is you have, you can add f up to four of these little balls right here, okay? And basically, each one you can tap and you have the entire Ableton setup. Uh, all your tracks right here is all my tracks for my Nexus stuff and every track I have a um, inserts on here like uh, right here I have EQ so basically um, I can look um, let's see for instance if I were to look at if I wanted to add a modulation for this track I could say okay that's the second track Nexus it is uh, this one right here yeah so I have an REQ on there which I should and I do and I went ahead and basically tapped on the effect module and it has all the parameters <clears throat> And basically what you can do is you can go and you can sort <clears throat> through um, and apply all these um, parameters to your controller. So what's wh what does this mean? So for instance, you have basically two things on this grid. Oop, let me go back to it. You have an x-axis and you have a y-axis and so basically here's what happens right here you have x and y I won't get the z because that's completely different or sort of different but you have x and y <clears throat> and you can assign different parameters to them so basically what happens is if I uh, set for instance RQ six mono band three let's say I set that gain knob to this Y controller right here so that means what's gonna happen is when this ball is down here the gains gonna be all the way zero and when it's all the way up here it's gonna be hundred percent and if I were to set that go back and say and set that to the uh, X axis like for instance this one says REQ6 mono band 4 gain that means that that parameter will be at 0% on the left side here and or actually I'm sorry I screwed that up think of the center as your zero point your origin that's where everything is normal and this will be like plus 100% minus 100% Anyway, I have an example. I set up, I set it up on my EQ. Um, basically, <clears throat> I had the X, I had the X part connected to um, this green uh, EQ point and this blue EQ point. And what's happening basically is <clears throat> we have this dot, and I'm moving it around, and what happens? isn't able to control whatever parameter I want and this is kinda of cool because I set the x axis to have a filter at the low end so basically uh, right now I'm moving where I set it up on the y axis so I'm moving my thing up and down and as I stated earlier it will fluctuate it right now I'm in the center and now I'm at the very top now I'm all the way at the bottom so it's kind of like that same thing except um, in the X direction I set it for the high pass so I'm all the way to the right all the way to the left 
And so it's just a really cool way you can control it. Like I could have my song playing normally um, in the center, like so. Okay. And then I can easily just I can start cutting the bass and boosting the treble, or I can <clears throat> or I can cut both at the same time.